Hello and welcome back to Team Ringer 5. Today we're going to be upgrading the RAM inside the Terramaster F220. So we looked at this NAS a couple of videos ago and I took you through how to set it up. So this time what we're going to do is open it up and upgrade the RAM from 2GB to 4GB to make it a little bit more feasible in its use. So on the back is four positive drive screws and what I would actually recommend is undoing the fan. So you can see the fan header on the right there. Now I'm not going to do it but I recommend that you take the fan out so you don't damage the NAS box itself. But what I'm going to do is just simply push it forward and then I'm going to run the back all the way through with it. So keeping it all together as one unit but you can just unhook the fan itself. The case itself is aluminium but then on the inside a little bit more plasticky but then there's also the uh, assembly on the bottom. So the actual RAM header that we're looking for is actually on the bottom of all this. So I'm about to turn it over now so you can see it at the bottom of your screen now. And what we're going to do is put the extra stick in there. It's already got one stick on the board or built in. So what we're going to do is add the additional to the expansion slot on the top here. Here's a little bit of better view for it. So we've already removed the hard drive at this point. Uh, we don't want to mess with that with those things. And this is the RAM we're going to put in. So a transcend RAM, 2 gig stick, just to upgrade it a little bit more because it is currently only 2 gig. So it's a piece of laptop memory. Uh, I'll put the full specs in the video description. And what we're going to do is put it in exactly the same as laptop memory. So you notice the key, which is the hole in the RAM slot there. And what you want to do is put it in and slide it down. But actually with this NAS, if you've got some tall sticks of RAM, uh, like this one, you'll notice that the case is actually fouling uh, on the actual envelope where the RAM can go. So actually what you've got to do first is undo the case itself. So there's two screws on the top here, and that allows me to just slide the case back slightly. I'm not going to take it off, but it just gives it enough give to slide backwards. So I'm going to install the RAM again by putting it in, sliding it down, but I'm going to push the case back just so I can fix it. Because the case doesn't foul once it's in, it's only just putting it in. Now what you want to do is put it all back together. So we're going to put the screws back in nice and quickly. Again, these are just positive drive screws. And then we can put the actual case back on. So the aluminium case, so make sure you get this the right way around and the right way up. So my first attempt, I actually got it the wrong way up. Uh, and I'm just trying to measure up which way it goes at the moment. Uh, and I get it wrong at this point. But exactly the same, you can remove the fan. Uh, I think that's probably the better idea. Uh, I was just sliding it through, as you can see, like so. And then turn it upside down and you can put the four screws back in the top. Nice and easy. So at this point you are done. You've upgraded the RAM inside your Terramaster NAS. So the next step is to check it, that one, that it boots up, and two, that we can actually see the memory installed inside the system settings. So as I said, we started with 2 gig of RAM. And what we're going to look for is the system settings. And we can now see we've got 4 gig of RAM. So that's how to upgrade the RAM inside your Terramaster F220. Thanks for watching everyone.